The new iPhone 14 Pro is here, and everyone is talking about the amazing upgrades that were made to the camera. One of the biggest advancements for the iPhone 14 Pro is the powerful 48 megapixel sensor. In this video, we're going to compare last year's iPhone 13 Pro to this year's iPhone 14 Pro, and seeing how the Sandmark telephoto lens works with the new camera as well. It's been nearly a decade since we've seen a megapixel jump like this from Apple. Compared to the 12 megapixel of the iPhone 13, this 48 megapixel is an incredible advancement in smartphone technology. So, how does it work? To put it simply, this huge new sensor captures more detail when shooting, and with the help of AI and pixel binning, a technique used to group pixels in larger binned pixel packets, you have more flexibility than ever when creating beautiful, sharp photos and videos on your iPhone. To get the full 48 megapixels, you'll have to use Apple's Pro Raw mode, which offers more detail and editing flexibility, but requires some manual labor to convert into a shareable JPEG or HEIC image. In this telephoto shootout, we'll use image comparisons of the different focal lengths, and then in addition, the Sandmark telephoto lens. All right, without further ado, let's go shoot. In this segment, I just wanted to compare the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro and their native lenses. I started off testing the wide lens first and definitely saw a difference between the 26 and the 24 mm lens, but overall the image quality was fairly the same, with maybe the exception that the iPhone 14 Pro handled the clouds a little better with color and sharpness. Then I tested the native telephoto lens on both and would say that the iPhone 14 Pro once again handled the clouds better and the details in the foliage and the buildings were more visible. I was pretty impressed by the 2x focal length of the iPhone 14 Pro, which is just the iPhone cropping from the wide angle lens. This is a nice feature if you want to get closer to your subject, but still want to have a full 48 megapixel image. Now I was out to try out the Sandmark telephoto lens with both the iPhones. For my first shot, I wanted to take a photo with the wide lens without the Sandmark telephoto lens for perspective. Looking at both, I think you can agree that the iPhone 14 Pro really pops, the dynamic range is really visible, and the background isn't washed out at all. Next, I added the Sandmark telephoto lens to the wide lens, and I think you can really see the difference between the shadows, the cloud details, and also how it's handling the light in the foreground and the background. Adding the Sandmark's telephoto lens to your iPhone's native telephoto lens, you're really going to see an incredible amount of detail in each shot, giving your viewer a really unique perspective and also capturing a truly immersive quality to your photos. Next, I wanted to focus on the iPhone 14 Pro's camera and then see what it looks like with the Sandmark telephoto lens added on after. Like I said before, the iPhone 14 Pro's camera is just truly beautiful and really handles colors, details, and dynamic range really well. And with the Sandmark Telephoto, you're going to maintain those nice details, the colors, and obviously getting a more unique perspective uh, despite wherever you may be standing or um, how far up the subject is. The last part I wanted to test out in the telephoto shootout was using the cinematic mode with the Sandmark Telephoto lens. The depth of field was really impressive on the iPhone. Using the Sandmark telephoto lens, you're going to get different focal lengths, which is going to give you that movie-like quality of changing different perspectives. Going from like a wide shot to close-up really gives the audience that immersive quality when watching a film. And it's just going to feel really beautiful, capturing all those details in your storytelling. We hope the image comparisons help you see the difference between the two iPhone models. Regardless of the iPhone model that you may have, be sure to check out the Sandmark telephoto lens to get optical bokeh in your photography and capture subjects in close details in your filmmaking. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this coming soon.